Hello, Glitch here, back with another tutorial. We'll be making the variations for the glow aura. Let's begin. First, we'll need to make a mask, which I already have here. Then, duplicate this mask, Ctrl D. The effects we'll be adding will be on the second layer. So, let's start with turbulent displays. Play around with the settings. And animate it at evolution by alt clicking, then typing time times 200. Let's see what we have. Then we're going to add the effect colorama. We'll be animating the phase shift. Alt click on the phase shift and type in time. Sorry. Type in time times 200. Then add a glow, deep glow. Click on this checkbox to remove the black screen. Can increase the radius and the exposure. If you want to have this cyber look, you can maintain it as it is. If you want to get rid of this hard edge, add CC radial blur and choose fading zoom. Amount, let's try five. 10, not enough, maybe 30 then, 30 will do, this is how it looks. If you want your aura to be solid instead of multicolor, then remove the colorama and add tint. Then change the white the color that you'd like. Let me go with an orange. There. If you'd like to make the aura appear as if it's fire, then you can come to tablet displays and animate the Y offset. Click on the keyframe, move to the end and animate the Y. Let's see how it looks like. There. That's the movement. You can also increase the complexity. To give it a more burning detail look. Okay, that's the first variation. For the second variation, we're going to get rid of the radial blur and we'll be adding auto paint. S auto paint. And we're going to put it just below the turbulent displays. Have something that looks like this. If it's a colorama used, it's going to look like this. Remember, you can always play around with the settings of each effect that you have added. If you don't want to use the tabulant displays, you can come in and use the warp bubble instead. Then remove this, no, no. Okay, it looks as if the aura is being blown by the wind. 
let's add the colorama to it and uh, the deep blue let's see how it looks there completely unique look you can make different varieties of this effect here you can even uh, let it be a standalone aura or with the mask that's it for today thanks for watching i hope it helped you out don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me out that being said i will see you guys in the next video thank you